Can't seem to fix up my hair. Uh, never mind. I guess it doesn't really matter. Hey, hello everyone. Um, today I'm gonna do a little progress report right now. It's today is March fifth, and I'm trying to get some fur for the tail because that's the first thing I want to make. But um, the fabric supplier that I'm trying to get it from doesn't have the color I want. Um, they have gray, but I wanted a lighter gray, and they go by stone gray. And so I can't get the fur I want, and I don't want to look for a different fabric supplier since I know that the fursuit makers that I know use this. And considering that it's their job to make good fursuits, and they aren't going out of business or anything, I'm assuming that this is good quality fabric and fur to use for the fursuit. So, that's why I'm not looking for a different fabric supplier, and they say that the uh, fur that I want will restock in March. It is March, but they didn't say when in March. It could be mid-March, it could be tomorrow, it could be tomorrow, mid-March, late March, the 31st, I don't know. And that's kind of the thing that's happening to me right now. I don't exactly know how everything is going, and that kind of scares me, since I want to have something on the 14th. I want to show off something in the 14th. I don't exactly know what, obviously this, but as of right now, I'm not even sure if I can have a little bit of progress. I have the money, I don't have the materials, and no amount of money can speed up, um, a resupply, I suppose. As you can see right here, I got the, uh, sewing machine, um, a couple, like a month ago. I've actually, uh, did a little bit of research. I actually did do a did do a little bit of testing on this thing, and uh, this is actually one of the big. This is one actually one of the bigger models. Um, I'm assuming that since um, I'm making a costume and not like mending, um, I decided to make a I decided to make a better purchase on this thing, and I actually spent a bit like fifty dollars more than I originally thought I would, but that's fine because. Uh, you want to get a good you want to get a good sewing machine if you want to get a good fursuit. You could easily make it by hand, I suppose, but this is my this is going to be my tool of choice for what's going on here. It was actually $135 or so from Amazon. It seems pretty reliable, quite big, has a And I'm and I did test it out. I think I'm going to be able to use this thing. While I suppose I can't, well, sew anything right now, I can at least show you how I use, how the sewing machine works. I haven't really used all that much of it, but I have learned the basics. So basically, I'm going to show you how to make this sewing machine work. So there's this little thing right here. Um, this is the spool part right there. Then you take this bigger spool right here, black. And you find the uh, the piece of thread, put it through the little thingy like right that. You put it around like here, and then like this. And you have to put it through this little hole right here. Little hole right there. You gotta put the little uh, thread through it. The thread's kind of weird to handle. So you got that out of the way. Adjust this so it's not around the little knob. You gotta move it like this. So it's in the position. Grab the little thread here, then you like that. Then you just grab this little, just kind of take on that little spool part. 
and then right over here on the side, there's a little bit of a little part. Snap it off. And boom, you got yourself a little nice little spool right here. Once you have your little spool here, you can take off this part right over here. It's like a little compartment that I can keep all my stuff in. And then down here, we have the meat and potatoes. Thing here, we have already a little gray spool in here, but we can we take that out. We can take this little thingy right here. A little bit off. Go through this little thing. Get through here. And that should be good. So if we just... This, that should be good. Close that up. We don't need to put this part back in, but we can if we want to. And then boom. Now back to this thing. We go back to the front view. We go here. We can go in through like this. Then, well, go down. And then we can go all the way through here. We pull this through a little bit more. Like that. And then we're down to the hardest part, probably the hardest part of here, trying to thread the needle through that little hole right there. Put a little bit of fabric here. As you can see, I practiced a little bit of it, but this is like some spare fabric, nothing really too crazy. So we're gonna do a little bit of a, we're gonna do a little bit of a, we're gonna do a little bit of a sewing here. So we got ourselves a little bit of a here. You can switch to different sewing methods, specific direction. Let's go with that. I think I think that was that was before, but no, never <clears throat> never hurts to check, I suppose. So we got this. Put this under here, and a very simple thing. I'm gonna choose a direction. Let's go this way. We slam it down using the little thingy right there. And using one hand, we can guide it using the foot pedal to power it. We can now just do here we go. I did a little weird there. Oops. Do a little something wrong there. It looks a bit weird. Anyway, um, it gets. I think it got stuck there for a moment. Hope nothing bad happened. It is a. It is a bit messy of a process, but hey, got the. But I got the. Uh, it, it got the job done. It's a, I swear, it looks a bit nicer when it, when I'm doing it correctly, but it is, it is exactly how it came out. Okay, so after that little bit of a, a fray there, I realized that the uh, thread kind of came out of the needle because of the... I didn't anchor it properly through the hole right there. It was a little bit... <sighs> there and it's supposed to go somewhat around the needle and then you thread it through it so it doesn't you know bust out because sometimes it could bust out and then it gets all messy but hey listen learned I got I I did a little still I did a little sewing thing you know how it works now and that's how I learned how to use it so and now I know that I have to anchor the thread correctly before I end up starting using it well end up using it that was a weird way of saying it, wasn't it?
Well, it was fun while it lasted, but the dream is officially dead. The stretch goal is completely off the table. Today is March 8th, and I just realized I don't have enough money at all to even consider going to Anthrocon this year. Like, I do not have enough money or enough time to even focus on that. And even if I could, the stretch goal is completely impossible to achieve at this point. Considering that I don't have a job at this I don't have a job, I don't have enough money to pay for the reservation or the or the admission, the transportation. It's all just kind of a farce. I'm I'm sorry for anyone who believed I could, but I uh, I'm sorry to disappoint. But the good news is the first suit thing is still happening. It's just I'm not going to Anthrocon this year. Sorry to disappoint. If I had the money, I'd totally do it, but I just don't have that money on me at this point, and I won't have that money in a couple months of time. So, I'm sorry to disappoint. Hello, everyone. It's March 10th right now. Lots of stuff has been happening recently. And like I said earlier, like on the 8th, I said that I'm not going to Anthrocon this year, which is a sad feeling because I really wanted to go, but due to some due to some money constraints, budget constraints, I just can't go. And even if I did have the money, it would be risky and I all that other stuff. And the person I, that wanted to, me to come anyway said, yeah, you should probably just focus on other stuff. And there's always other cons to go to, so it's fine, I suppose. I just feel kind of bad, really. My ambition, the stretch goal is completely destroyed by the t by Lily the, by Lily part one. Lots of stuff has been happening as well. Um, I won't go into detail, but there's just a lot of stuff going on with my friends and how's, how's everything going. But, eh, uh, it only just stings a little bit, and there's, and that's the only context I'll give. So yeah, there's just a lot of stuff that's been happening recently. Although, there are some good news. One, I now have access to my bank account details, so I can now see the money that I have. And I have about $300 in my bank. So that's pretty, so that's a, so that's a good thing. Um... The, next, the, the other thing is that I now have a job opening. There's a job that I'm trying to apply to, and I'm the first person on the list for the next for the next position. So if everything goes well, I get a job, and I get money, which can be used for fursuit stuff, which is always a good thing because I feel like I'm always running low on money. I need more money for stuff, I, and luckily, without the whole Anthrocon in the way, I can now focus on just this and other stuff. So yeah, that's really what's going on here. No, that's what's going on with my that's what's going on. Although I will mention that just because that um the, the, the stretch goal has derailed doesn't mean that I don't have goals and that doesn't mean that I'm not doing not doing bad. It's just stuff Stuff gets in the way, stuff kind of just moves around all throughout. I can't control everything. I wish I could, but I can't. Um, so yeah, that's what's going on. I really wanted to have, although the fur, suit, the fur provider hasn't been telling us about when the restock will happen because it just hasn't happened yet. And, uh, I, and that's kind of messing with my other goal that I never talked about. I wanted to have a tail by March 19th, which was my birthday, which is Saturday, which will be five days after this, and you'll probably see whether or not that happens or not, although it probably won't, because it takes a while to ship, and I would have to get more stuff for it. I was planning to buy some stuff on that day when it opens up, but as of right now, nothing has come up with it. I really wanted to have something to show by now because right now I just wanted to show that I'm not trying. Many people say I'm going to make a fursuit one day and then 
they probably do, but it takes a while. And I wanted to say that I had a goal. I wanted to reach it. And what happened was that people like to... I feel like people blow hot air about trying to make a fursuit or something because I want to make a fursuit as well. But they say that... It's say that in like an empty way. Hopefully they just get something going. I wanted to show something because I wanted something to show. I wanted to show that I wasn't just blowing hot air like I usually do. I wanted to have something to show. But as of right now, I don't have anything to show except me just sitting in this chair telling you what happened. So I don't know what's going on. I hate not knowing what things are happening around me. Sorry, I'm tearing up. I don't know why. Um, stuff happens, and just because that you have a setback doesn't mean that the world is ending. Just because something is going to happen doesn't mean that the world is going to end. It's a setback. But a setback makes a more interesting story. I said I wanted an interesting story, and my god, I'm getting one. I wanted to make a fursuit, and I wanted to make it because I knew that it would be interesting. And telling you what's going on in my life and how everything's just going wrong is making it more interesting. I want to, I wanted to make a fursuit because I wanted a fursuit and I wanted to tell a good story and by god I'm getting one. You gotta look on the bright side of things people because this is an interesting story. But yeah, that's what's going on in my life. And I, I said I wanted to show my mindset, my ambition, what, what goals I'm trying to achieve. Method, all that. So yeah, that's what's going on. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna sign off.